Welcome back to Just Scribble. I love platinum fountain pens. Platinum and Sailor are my two favorite fountain pens of the big three Japanese fountain pen brands, Pilot, Platinum, and Sailor. And in the spring, Platinum announced that they were going to be releasing a new limited edition 3776 fountain pen called Shape of Heart that used the hearts that come out of their nibs as part of the pen. So let me show you real quick and then we will do an unboxing of mine. But in the nibs of a platinum fountain pen, let me turn it this way because it's easier to see. In the nibs, the breather hole is in the shape of a heart. And when they punch these out, they usually melt them down and reuse them when they're making more nibs. But they decided to make a limited edition fountain pen where they took two of the hearts and they incorporated them into the detailing of the pen. So what they did was they created this beautiful finial that was adorned with crystals and two of the gold hearts. They named the pen Shape of Heart and they launched 2,000 of them worldwide. And I love hearts and I love platinum fountain pens. So as soon as I saw photos of what they were going to release, I decided to pre-order one. And so I pre-ordered one from Cult Pens and I got it a while back, but I haven't had a chance to unbox it. So I wanted to unbox it with you guys. So we are going to unbox my pen now. I will say this wax seal, it did not come on this box. I added it, it was on some packaging and I stuck it on the box because I thought it was pretty. But I'm going to slide the box out and we are going to check out my new limited edition 3776 from Platinum. This is actually only my second 3776, this white one that I just showed you guys for the nib. That was actually my first that I found on sale and so I had bought that one. So this is my second. It has a beautiful black box and then inside it has your instruction cards, your warranty card, your user manual, and then it has a bottle of ink, a converter, and your pen. So I'm gonna take the pen out real quick so we can check it out. It has this on here, let me take this off. I did get a fine nib in this pen. I went back and forth on whether I wanted a medium or a fine, but I decided to get a fine because these are pens that I would like to use in my planners and I tend to need a finer pen in my planners. So I decided to get a fine, which is the same nib that this one is as well. I'm going to check out my pen. So it is a glossy black pen, as you can see there, and the clip and all of the metal decor on it is rose gold, which is my favorite. But this, this is the shining star. This is the beautiful finial that has gorgeous crystals in it and then there are little gold hearts in there. And so when you spin it around, it has the beautiful sparkle from the crystals and the beautiful hearts. It still has their standard slip and seal technology, so you can ink up your pen and it can sit for a long period of time and the ink will not dry out, which is awesome. I just think it is such a pretty classy pen. I love everything rose gold. I love everything holographic and sparkly and I love hearts. So this was the perfect 3776 pen for me. I am really excited. Isn't it pretty? If I unscrew it, there is the nib and you can see that heart cut out there. And then it does have inside, it does have a cartridge inside. And then it did come with a converter. And then it did come with an ink. This is a blue fountain pen ink. It is one of their mixables, so you can create your own ink colors. But I am not going to fill it up with this ink. I do not want blue ink in this pen. So I'm gonna grab another ink and we are going to fill up my pen and write with it real quick. So I thought about going with some sort of pretty fun color for this pen, but because it is a black pen and because I am gonna use it primarily in my planners and I use black pen to write my planners, I'm actually just going to fill it up with black ink. And I am going to fill it up with this Sailor black ink that I bought recently and shared with you guys because it was handy and it was close by. I do have a few favorite black inks and I'll do a video on that sometime soon, but this is one of them. 
So I'm just gonna stick the converter down in it and turn it clockwise. To fill it up. Put my little fountain pen rag there. Let's fill it back on our ink. Change of plans. I decided that I didn't want to use this ink. I actually wanted to use this J. Herbin ink. This is one of my other favorite blacks. And since I haven't used this in a while, I decided I would switch. So I emptied out my converter and we are going to fill it with the J. Herbin ink instead. Same process, stick it in there so that the tip is submerged spin clockwise it's filled with ink let's set it there close up my bottle and put it away sometimes my ink choices are just based on my mood and what i feel like using or a color that matches the pen and sometimes it's just because I feel like I need to use an ink that I haven't used in a while. I do own quite a few fountain pen inks, so I thought I would change it up and use a different black. I actually use platinum carbon black a lot, but because this is a limited edition pen, I didn't want to put carbon black in this pen. So I'm gonna screw that on and I'm gonna let gravity do its thing and then we are going to do writing sample. All right, so let's do a little writing sample with my new Shape of Heart pen. So this is the Shape of Heart and it is a fine nib. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Definitely not my best handwriting, but I wanted to just do a little bit of a writing sample with you guys. Oh, I really like it. So that is my new Shape of Heart pen with the rose gold accents and the decorative finial. So, so pretty. Although I know the nib in this one is the same, they are both fine. This is also a 3776 fine nib. This one writes a little bit broader, but it's slightly scratchier. It's not scratchy, I guess. It just has a little bit more feedback. And I'm not sure why, but I like both. But I am definitely in love with this pen and I am so glad that I bought it. I just wanted to do a little video with you guys to unbox my pen. I figured if I was going to unbox it, I should do it with you guys and let you guys check it out as well. I really, really love platinum pens. I would love to hear if you guys like platinum pens too. Have you tried any platinum pens? I use a lot of their non gold nib pens. I really love the Platinum Polaris and I love the Procyons a lot too. This is one of my Procyons and I really like these. But these are different. They don't have a breather hole. They have a stainless steel nib, not a gold nib. So I was excited to get some Platinum pens with gold nibs to add to my fountain pen collection. But that is my unboxing and share of my new Shape of Heart Platinum 3776 Century Pen. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.